Welcome to Accurate, the channel of teaching and learning. Accurate, the truth that sets free. Shalom, we meet again in the peace of the Lord. We want to continue with our fruit of the Holy Spirit. The last time we looked at uh, love, agape kind of love, the God kind of love, we also went on to look at uh, joy. And we were explaining that this joy is not like the joy of the world. It is actually the joy of the Lord. And uh, we want to proceed as we read from our scripture reading of Galatians chapter 5 from uh, verse 22. Now we want today to move on to talk about peace. Glory be to Jesus. Peace is yet another fruit of the Holy Spirit. And I said these fruit of the Holy Spirit are products of the Spirit of God. If ever somebody receives the Spirit of God in them, the Holy Spirit will begin to produce fruit in the individual. And this fruit will be seen. It's just like a plant, a crop, or a tree that is planted. When we plant a tree, nobody will ever be able to know what really this, this tree or this fruit tree will produce. For example, when we look at orange tree and lemon tree, the grapefruit, you might find that these trees are almost similar when you look at them. But by the time they produce fruit, and then now the fruit is seen and tested, people will now call it, this is an orange tree, or this is a lemon and not an orange. Glory be to Jesus. So this is the same thing with the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And today we want to look at peace. What kind of peace is this? And every time I always want to give an example of the two kinds of peace, because we still have one word, but which means something that is different when we look at this same word, how it is used in the world and how it is used in the spiritual uh, world of God. So in this instance, I want to explain the issue of the fruit of peace. Peace is not like the absence of war. It is not like uh, the peace of the world. You hear even Christ Jesus saying, my peace I give unto you, not as the world gives. Because the world, by the way, gives its own peace. But we do have the peace that Christ himself gives. Glory be to Jesus. So this peace is the peace that only the Lord can give. That's why it is the fruit of the Spirit of God. And I want to look at this peace at times when I try to, you know, imagine and I try to meditate on this peace. I remember a picture that comes to me of Jesus Christ in the boat with his disciples. And at one time there was a turbulence and we hear of how the water from the sea began now even to pour into the boat. And Jesus Christ was asleep. We hear of how the disciples panicked and they went to wake up the master and they said, do you not care that we are dying? All the disciples were now panicking. They lost their calm. They lost their peace because they thought that this was their end. And yet there was a man who was with them in the turbulence. And this man was asleep and peaceful in his sleep. So this is the peace that was in Jesus Christ that could continue to keep him asleep in a time that danger had encroached. So this is the very same peace which we are talking about today. Somebody must be peaceful. It's some kind of calmness that, you know, develops in an individual where you don't panic even when things happen, where you always know that all things are in control, everything is under control. There is no panic, there is no fear because you know that somebody is in control. The Holy Spirit will give you this peace, this calmness, this peace that continues to dwell in an individual. Glory be to Jesus Christ. So we are talking about this peace, the peace of the Lord that must dwell in an individual whenever anything happens. How many of us still can remain calm in situations where usually we panic? Most people panic. Most people scream. Most people run. Most people shout for help. How many of us can still remain calm in situations that are so, so life-threatening to us? But with this fruit of the Holy Spirit, the peace of the Lord will continue to make us being peaceful in places where a lot of people become violent. A lot of people fight. A lot of people, you know, insult. A lot of people speak back negatively. A lot of people attack whenever they feel like, you know, they are also being threatened. 
But how many people are able to keep their peace, to keep calm? This is the peace which we are talking about. The peace, the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Somebody must have this peace. Somebody must pray for this peace. Somebody must go on their knees and say, Holy Spirit, create in me this peace that I don't panic, I don't find myself, you know, rushing like an, a cockroach whenever things happen. I stand my ground, I stand my, I hold my calm, I hold on to my horses and I know that somebody is in control. I know that the Lord is in charge, the Lord is in control. No need to panic. You need this peace in you, not as the world gives, but the peace that Jesus Christ himself gives unto us. It is the fruit of the Spirit. Till we meet again, as we discuss yet another fruit of the Spirit. Bless you. Amen.